Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to Sing It, my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man From Self. If you like men's hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then this channel is most definitely for you. Please do press subscribe right now. Slick Gorilla, right, I first tried Slick Gorilla in their powder. Their powder was so good. I thought from like the packaging and the name that it would just be a bit a bit crap, a bit kind of like Amazon basics, but um, that's such an awful thing to say, but um, that's true. But the product was great, like the hold in that was amazing. It really did what it was told. So when I saw that they had launched two new products, um, the clay pomade and something called Lightwork, I thought I'm gonna buy them both. So I thought I'll give you the review first of Clay Pomade by Slick Gorilla. Now, Slick Gorilla is a company from Leeds. Um, they've created products for the urban jungle. I hate that, um, but it's a something, you know, it's a bit of marketing. And I think if the product works and it does what it's supposed to, then great. Now, when you're looking at this plastic tub, metalish sort of lid, it looks totally fine. You get into the product and you have a sniff. It smells dry. It smells like clay, that's what we like. When something says it's a clay pomade, I sometimes feel like you're giving two messages there. Is it a clay or is it a pomade? For me, clays tend to be uh, at their best when they're matte finish and a good hold. For me, pomades seem to be at their best where they have got a shine. Um, and they can either be water-based or oil-based, but you can kind of decide what you want in that. Um, the ingredients kind of start to give that away about what this might or should do. And I should say, they say that this is a clay pomade with a firm hold and a matte finish, which I do have issues with, and you will find out why. And um, when you are getting into the ingredients, all the ingredients plus the best prices and where to buy it, um, is on manfromself.com under the product section. And if you are also looking for clays, then there's a, a clay category there. Click it, it's gonna give you all my clays that I really like, and some maybe that I don't like, but you might love. The ingredients at the top, you've got petrol atoms, so it is oil-based. There's also bentonite, which is a type of clay. Bentonite has a property of swelling. So if you've got fine hair or hair that just needs a little extra boost, bentonite is a good one for you. It's also got kaolin. Kaolin is another type of clay. It's further down that ingredients list, but it does sort of give the hair a bit of elasticity. Um, for me, like bentonite is kind of like exactly what I want. And um, there's also sunflower seed oil in here, so there's, there's some good oils. When you're getting into um, sort of consistency, you look at this here, this dark gray clay-like color. It's quite dry to first sort of scoop out, but as soon as you get this into your hands, and I should say you don't need a lot of this, you get it into your hands and you start to work, you can start to feel that oiliness. It really does emulsify well, but you've got that oily stickiness. So for me, that's saying this might not be matte finish and this might not be very true to a clay. Get it off your hands. Getting it in and through the hair is easy. I mean, you'll expect that with a sort of oily product, it does go through. And you do have a sort of slight tackiness to it. When you're styling, it's responsive, which I always like. I want a product that's gonna be responsive and do what it's told. I think especially if you're a guy watching this or a girl, hi, and you've got really short hair and you just wanna add a bit of texture into something, then something which is responsive and slightly tacky is a good thing. If you've got slightly longer hair, like my length or longer than this, Sometimes having that sort of greasy touch isn't the best, especially if you're getting it onto the scalp, it tends to kind of sort of coat it. But styling with this was good. It wasn't great, it was good. Um, and I actually, I do think if my hair was slightly shorter, it would have been better. Now, when you look at the finish of this, um, this again, it says matte finish. This is not a matte finish. This is not a matte finish at all. And that's not gonna change depending on the length of your hair because someone will say, it didn't work for you because, no. No, 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 no. It didn't work because it does definitely have a natural finish to it. It's not a high sheen, but it's a natural finish. And, and actually off the back of reviewing this one and trying it, I've actually made new categories on the products pages on manfromself.com. We've got matte finish, we've got natural finish, which is something like this. So there's a touch of a sheen, you definitely know you've got a product in there, or there's a high shine gloss finish. So you can sort of tap into those and kind of find the product that you want. So for me, the, the finish was okay. 
when you're looking at hold of this, the hold is good on this. And I would expect that from Slick Gorilla because like their powder, that was a responsive product. It was a product that did what it's told. It doesn't dry hard. So it means you can really kind of work with it all day. But the sort of shiny finish, I'm not a fan of. Then with washability, it's not that easy to be honest because it is oil-based. We'd expect that with an oil-based product you know, to really get an oil-based product out, you need a shampoo conditioner. Sometimes it kind of just does slip out, but this one doesn't. And um, price is good, and it's good across all their products. Um, in the UK, it's 11 95 um, It's on their site, it's also on Amazon. I've also got it on my site where I find the best prices for you. I don't do the sort of, um, the selling to you, but I'm just kind of a bit of a, a go-between to try and find the best prices. Um, so, that's my washing machine kicking off. Did I like using this? Um, I thought it was okay. Um, would I buy this again? No. Would I recommend this? No. I think if you want a shiny sort of product and you want a sort of clay pomade, then I mean, again, just go onto the clays on here. And there are so many on here. I mean, Lockhart's matte clay, that is a real matte clay. Moroccan oil texture clay is in the holy grail. I think it's a fantastic product. If you want a shine clay, so something which is oil-based, but it's gonna give a good shine and a good hold, then I think Apothecary 87, which is another British brand, is above this. Um, so it's fine. It's a fine product, but I'm not excited by it. If you've got it, then great. But do I recommend it? No. So there you go. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this. That washing machine is kicking off, literally. Um, if you have enjoyed this and you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The more subscribers I get, the quieter a washing machine I can afford. So please do come and join me. Um, also, there are more video suggestions there. Subscribe there. More video suggestions there. A link to the products page is there. My Instagram, man for himself, plus my hair Instagram, man for hair, is up there. Also, everything linked in there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.